Hi friends, thank you so much for coming back to craft with me today and welcome if you're new to my channel. My name is Alyssa and today we're making this slimline stacked envelope mini album. So this here was actually inspired by a past project that I did. Same kind of idea with the stacked envelopes. So this one is obviously an envelope and you can flip it and the lid of the next envelope is actually a pocket and so on and so forth. So I was just inspired by this little project that I did a tutorial on, which I'll link this down below to in case you're interested. But for today, I wanted to create something a little more tall and slim. And the only difference is my envelopes here are turned sideways like this. So I turned this one into a cute little mini album Easter edition and I used the Bright Easter paper pad by Park Lane which looks like this and I wasn't even going to get this but I really loved all the bright colors so I picked up this paper pad from Joann's so let's go ahead and just flip through this one here I have hippity hop right on the front there with the cute little bunnies and the chicks and the eggs and you can see my envelope here there's the lid which i turned into a tuck spot over on this side but on the inside of this envelope or i guess it's just a page now i just have this little journaling card that i made and these easter stickers are from last year i got them from timu so i just added a few stickers here and there and this little piece here is from Michael's actually, and I turned this into a tuck spot. So I just stuck a little extra scrap in there and I turned it into a tag. So that's behind the cute little bunny. And then over here in this tuck spot, I just have this little sticky note. So you could write a message there. And I added this little Dollar Tree sticker to the corner as well. And we'll flip the page. Over here, I just washi taped this little vellum sheet down, but underneath is a little sticky note. And then inside, I have two little cards. So this one here is just a journaling card. I drew my own little lines there. And this one, I've just paper clipped this cute sticker and then some paper for writing. And I really like this paper. It's like textured and it's just a really cool look. And I got that from Dollar Tree actually. It was in one of the paper scrap packs that they sell. So I just included that whole little pack in there and this one as well. And then here's the lid slash tuck spot over on this page. So I just have this tag underneath and I just use my scraps and different stickers to decorate this. And it says, here comes Peter Cottontail down at the bottom. And then this is my last page. So this is actually the lid of the envelope here that opens up like so. And inside I just have a taller journaling card as well. And there's another cute little Timu sticker. But that's everything for this little mini album. So I'll stick everything back in. So it's just a fun little slim mini album, tons of pockets and tuck spots. And I love just the tall look of this. That's kind of what I was going for. So, and you'll see too that you don't even need to follow my measurements. You can just take paper and we're just folding them into thirds basically. So go ahead and grab some paper and we can create one of these together. So today I'll be using the Vintage Floral Paper Pad here by The Paper Studio. And you're just going to need three different sheets of paper. So I'll get to these two as we go, but I'm just going to start with the smallest envelope first. And I'm giving you the measurements that I used and that I wanted specifically, but again, you can just pretty much use whatever size you want and just fold the paper into thirds. So this one here is six and a half by six. 
If you have a six by six, you can go ahead and use that and just eyeball your measurements. But I'm just going to flip this paper over to the blank side. And at the six and a half inch side, I'm just going to score at one and a half and four and a half. So the one and a half inch score here is going to be my lid, basically. So I'm literally just folding this. And my lid here is going to go right over top. And that's it. So you can really just eyeball it and fold your paper into three sections like that. You don't even have to score. So you can make yours whatever size you want to do or use whatever size paper you have. But now I'm just going to glue down the sides here and that's going to be my simple little envelope. So I'll bring those up and then that's going to be my lid. But remember, we're going to be holding them this way. So you want your print obviously to be going the correct way. So there's our first little envelope. So I'm going to set this one aside. The next size you're going to need is a seven and a half by seven piece of paper. And I'm going to flip mine over again. We're just going to hold this at the seven and a half inch side and score at one and a half again for our lid and then five. And again, just fold these inwards and we're going to glue down the sides again All right, so that's our next envelope all set. We can put that aside and let's grab our last sheet here. So I'm using an eight and a half by eight piece of paper. I'm gonna flip mine over to the blank side here and I'm gonna do one and a half again for my lid and then five and a half. And there's our last envelope. And we can go ahead and glue the sides. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna stop, but you could honestly keep going and going and creating as many of these envelopes as you would like to create a whole like mini journal. I actually might do that in a future video, who knows? But I just have my three envelopes here. And I'm going to take my biggest envelope and we're just gonna be holding it this way with the lid here on the right. And then I'm gonna take my middle envelope here and the lid part, remember, we're gonna just glue down onto the body of our bigger envelope here so that we can create a tuck spot. So I'm just gonna flip my lid here over and I'm just gonna glue the side and the bottom to create my tuck spot.
and you can place this wherever you want on here. You can do it more towards the top or the middle or all the way at the bottom. So I kind of like to just place it towards the bottom. And that becomes a nice little tuck spot. Now for this lid over here, you can get a Velcro dot or something like that to close it shut if you want. Or you can always just take a larger tag or something like that and just put it behind your tuck spot but over top of the lid there. So that'll also maybe close it up for you if you want. I think I did put a Velcro dot here though. So anyway, back to this. So that's going to be the middle page there. And we're going to do the same thing with our last envelope. And the lid is going to be glued down onto this envelope now. So let me just glue the bottom here and the side. And then I'll place this right over top. And that's how we create our little stacked envelope mini album. So I'm actually going to go ahead and grab a Velcro dot to close this lid up. So I'm just going to use this smaller one that I have. And that's all set there. And if you did use single sided paper like me, I'm just going to cut out a strip to cover up this blank space here and this one as well. Okay, so I just have two strips here. This one is one and a half by six, so that one's going to go over top here. And this one is one and a half by seven, so that's going to cover up that tuck spot. All right, but that's pretty much it. So we have pockets, tuck spots, and a big pocket in the back. So now I'm going to go ahead and start decorating and filling this up. I have gone ahead and created some little journaling cards and things like that for the inside. So this one here, I just have a butterfly and a little label. But I used the same papers, like the leftovers from these papers, to create some of these pieces here. So this one I'll stick in here. This piece is just a little journaling card. So you could journal on this sheet and underneath. And I just have this vellum floral piece up top. So I was going to stick that one here in this tuck spot. And I have a tag here with another little label and some vellum flowers. I'm going to stick that in here. And then this is another tag 
booklet so you could journal or write all on the inside and I'm gonna stick that over here actually before I do that I'm gonna put this larger journaling card inside of my back pocket here so how pretty is this paper I really didn't want to do much to it because it was so pretty but I have be open to whatever comes next with a little butterfly on there and it fits good okay that can go into this little back pocket close that up and then I'll stick this one right here so that at least is all of the pockets and tuck spots filled up so I'm just gonna go ahead and add a few more embellishments I've got this little banner here that says hey you and I think I'm gonna add this butterfly as well so let me just glue this on first And then I'm gonna use some foam tape for my little butterfly. And just stick it right there. And for the inside, I could put this little tag somewhere, maybe here, and I could have that be a tuck spot as well. So I'm going to glue down two sides and just stick that here. I'm going to wait for that to dry and let's see I don't know I feel like I need something else here I'm just going to glue this butterfly down kind of hanging off the edge there as well okay back to the inside I think I'll just put this little sticker behind my tag there like so and I'm gonna move it right along over here Maybe I'll washi tape this little vellum piece over on this page. So I'm just going to use this piece of washi tape. And I'll stick it there. And I'm wondering if I should add something to the corner here like that or even maybe another little gold foiled piece maybe I'll do that Okay. So it'll look something like that. And by the way, 
this piece and this piece. A lot of the ephemera pieces are from a random ephemera pack I got at Joann's. And I don't even remember the name of it because I threw the package out. But I think that's going to complete this album today. So very springy. We've got all these fun pockets, places to journal and write little notes. I just love projects like this. You guys know how much I love envelopes in general. So something like this where I can turn it into an album is even better. So I hope that you all have enjoyed it as well. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more crafty fun and inspiration, and leave me a comment down below. I hope to see you all soon in my next video, so happy crafting and huge hugs to all of you.